I just love it when I get to talk to you through a video. Hey, I'm glad you joined me today. I'm Nancy Alexander, if you didn't know that. I've been going through Grow With Nancy this morning. I've been reading your posts. I've been looking at your photos of your beautiful creations. And I'm telling you, I don't think there's ever been a time since I have been selling on the internet that there are so many gorgeous, gorgeous designs, creations, wreaths, and other handmade items. Now, don't let that scare you because I tell you I think there are a lot of them right now. Actually, the more competition that you have, the more people are looking for wreaths. When they see beautiful ones, they're going to be looking more. They're going to be looking everywhere. Or other, hand, I, I keep saying wreaths, but I mean any handmade item because that's what we all do. Competition is not bad. It's good. So don't let that worry you. Okay. I wanted to talk to you today about pricing. There is a really long thread going on in Grow With Nancy right now about how to price a wreath. Laura Dixon started this and she posted a wreath that she'd made, a fall wreath, and she wanted to know how much she should charge for it. Um, she says, I mostly do burlap, so this mesh style is not easy for me, but with but with practice, I'll do better. But, Laura, you've done a great job. You don't need any more practice. I know when you're switching back and forth between birch reeds, grapevine reeds, and deco mesh, and burlap, it's a little confusing, and it's hard to kind of go back and forth, and it's hard to get a pricing structure in your mind for each thing. And I know each type of wreath, t wreath takes more time. Um, some take less, some take more. Um, let's see, someone else, Gloria Woolsey, posted a wreath that she had made. And I had asked her some questions about it, and she said the cost of her materials was $45. All right. These are the questions that I asked Gloria, and these are the questions I ask anyone, or I even ask myself when I'm pricing something. Are you selling in your hometown? Are you selling at craft fairs and flea markets or on consignment? How long have you been selling online? Do you have a good reputation? Are you selling on Etsy? Do you have an Etsy shop? And if you've sold on Etsy, about how many sales have you had? Do you have any feedback? Is it 100% positive feedback? Feed, do you have testimonials? Well, that's the same thing as feedback, but you need to save those. Anytime you get feedback from a customer, you get testimonials. You need to start a file on your computer and save those. And when you list an item in Etsy, you can use one of those inside your description for that product. You won't, those are, those are so valuable to a business. I cannot stress. Really good feedback and really good testimonials is just like gold. Make sure that you don't miss any. Make sure you keep track of them and please make sure that you use them. And I asked, do you have a mailing list to promote your items? If you don't, you should. Do you have a Facebook page where you promote your listings? Now, Gloria says, um, she had We've been talking lately about how to reach the perfect clientele for you, for you, for what you sell, the perfect audience. And we've been talking about how not to promote 
to the people who are wanting really, really cheap. They're wanting something for nothing. I don't want you to get confused and think that every wreath that you make, if you mark your price up really high, that will promote your item to a different type of clientele. Sometimes it will, but you've got to pay your dues first. You've got to go step by step, so you have to kind of start down lower first. I think I've told you before, when I started, I probably sold my first four or five wreaths at a loss. Then I raised my price some, and I started getting in some of the most awesome feedback and testimonials. Well, I saved those and I used them. As I got more and more, my prices went up. I was then starting to reach the type of buyer that I thought my product warranted, that my wreath warranted, that, that my wreath was worth purchasing for. When you're starting out and you don't have feedback and you don't have testimonials, you can't just all of a sudden price your wreath up higher thinking it will sell quickly because it won't. So when I say you've got to pay your dues, I mean you need to price it lower. And to do that, I want you to keep track of all of your expenses. But this is actual expenses. If you got, if you purchased some stems at Hobby Lobby, and let's say they're normally sixty dollars and you got them half price so you only paid thirty just starting out I would count only the thirty dollars as your cost maybe later on you would count the sixty but I'm, I'm talking about people that are just getting started right now and wanting to get their products out there and wanting to build a name and a brand for themselves so I want you to add up actual costs exactly what that wreath cost you or whatever product that you're making. And also when you're just starting out, you'll probably spend a lot of time making whatever it is you're making. Um, I keep saying that because we have other people in our group who sell other items. But just to use wreaths for an example, when you get started, you might spend three or four hours making a wreath. When you've been making them for a while, you may only spend one hour making a wreath. I can make a wreath in less than an hour, but I can still spend three or four hours on a wreath if I want to piddle around and take my time. Depends on what kind of mood I'm in and how much has to go out. So you can't, you can't say that I spent four hours making this wreath and I should make $10 an hour or I should make $20 an hour and add that to your cost either because your skills will improve and you will grow quicker in making those with the more practice that you have. When I started, I only added up my expenses. I totaled them up. And if I can remember back correctly, at that time, I was spending 25 to $30 on a wreath. I didn't even consider labor for me in this, um, at this time when I was just starting. I thought, well, if I've got 25 or $30, I want it to sell quickly. So I charged $79, $89, or sometimes $99, depending on how the wreath looked. If it looked like it could have been a little bit more, I added a little bit more. And I suppose you might say that was my salary. But I was not concerned at that time about drawing a salary. 
that's the way it is when you are starting your own business, when you are the owner of a business and you want it to grow and you want it to prosper and you are working really hard, very hard, building your brand and your name. I've gone a, I've gone a lot of years and not taken a salary. Now, even today, most of the time, anything that I make is put back into growing my business. Of course, I take some money out, but it's not a, not a scheduled weekly, monthly salary like um, someone told me just last week I should be doing. We met with a financial advisor because my husband is retiring in January. And he wanted to know about my business and how much we paid me per week. Well, we don't really. It stays in the business till we need it, and then we draw some out. I'm saying that so that you'll know if you can possibly do it, your business comes first so you can grow it. And then, of course, everyone needs to make income from what they're doing. So then you start drawing out some, some money. But um, build up your business. Build up your brand. Get some really good feedback. You want people to open the box that holds your wreath. And as they're opening it, you want them to go, oh, Wow, I had no idea it was going to be this big and this full and this gorgeous. That wow factor is what's going to build your brand, your business, your name up quicker than anything else. And then they're going to be so excited, you're not going to have to ask for their feedback. They're just going to give it because they just love what you sent them. I know we always have questions about pricing. It never ends. And honestly, I've gone back and back, back and forth through the years. It depends on the economy. It depends on the time of year. If kids are getting out of school and summer is starting, it's slow. When they go back to school and there are some there, there are expenses, then it's slow. Even for the people who don't have children, but I've never figured that part out. There are months that are very, very busy. For me, it's always been. September, October, November, and believe it or not, January, February, and March. All of those months have probably been my busiest months ever since I've been in business. Keep, keep asking your questions. Keep posting your photos. Tell us exactly what you have invested in your item your wreath, or if it's something else, tell us what it is. You can keep track of your time, but like I say, that that's variable. It depends on your experience. It depends on the number of years or the number of months or weeks or years that you've been doing this. You can't add up your time and charge a dollar amount for your time when you're first getting started. I hope this helps. I started to post some some something else on this thread again this morning. I thought I just need to talk to y'all because it's much easier to talk to say all of this than it is to try to write it. And I hope you understand what I'm saying. I'm not saying you should not get paid. I'm not saying you shouldn't get paid for your time per hour. Yes, you definitely should. We all should. And don't get this confused with what I've said before about reaching your target audience who can afford your products. I'm saying yes, eventually you will do you will do that. You need to do that. You need to price your items so that people who are looking for a really nice wreath for their door, they might be searching for the higher priced items first. But Right now, today, I'm talking about people who are just getting started and they need to build up a lot of things before they can get to that point. Okay.
I've enjoyed talking to you today, and I hope you have an awesome day.